Oh, hi, you guys. I'm going to click on my comments and see who's here yet. Let's make sure that. Oh, there you guys are. Hi. Hey, hi, hi, hi. Oh, Rachel. Hey, Nisi. Rachel's helping. Yes, dear. Um, I'm not in the Facebook group. Uh, can you log in as me? Um, if you text me your information, then yes. Oh, I don't know if I could do that. Just, okay. Hi, guys. I'm just trying to get some new people in the room right now. Oh, dear. Give me a sec. We have some new faces today, you guys. And I'm just trying to get us all in here. Okay, I just put the link down for later early. If you guys could copy that, that would be awesome. <laughs> oh, I love how like exactly at noon everyone tries to come in. It cracks me up. Give me a second, you guys. Happy Monday. I should have Rachel entertain you guys for a few minutes while I get these people in. You guys know Mondays are always interesting, and I have people just trying to get in now. Shannon. Hey guys, don't click that link yet. That's for later. We just wanted to get it into the comments. Yeah, so you guys, especially if you're new, that just copy it and save it for the for later in the show. Okay, I think I got everybody. Okay, I think you guys, I think we got everybody. I'm hoping. I'm hoping I got you guys, okay? So, we'll find out in a few minutes when people start texting me. I'm not in, I'm not in. So, anyway. Uh, Hey, you guys, hopefully you guys are all in the right place. And if you're new, welcome so much, you guys. I'm Denise. Artist at Heart Paint Party is my show, my passion. I'm super excited to have you guys here. Again, we have several new people. I'm so happy to have new people. I'm so happy to have old people. I'm so happy to have middle people. Uh, I'm just happy. I'm just happy. So um, is my, I think I'm not syncing with my sound. Yes, uh, but they're not going to see that. Eventbrite had the link, and I emailed you guys back with the link. So if you registered through Eventbrite, I emailed you back the link. I feel like my lips, my sound is not syncing with my video. But anyway, that's all right. It's not a big deal. Rachel's behind the scenes helping me out today. So uh, again, yes, you can check your your event bright for the link, but if you got in here, then you have the link. So you guys are cool. It's the people that are outside. So I put the link in all of the camps 
I messaged you if I have your message information and I emailed you guys with the email you used on Eventbrite. So, uh, yay, welcome so much. All right, we're doing peacocks today. We're doing some pretty peacocks. So I always like to start with a slappy copy. I've been really, really, really busy. So uh, you guys know I'm launching my site, my brand new subscription site Wednesday. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, in this group later, I will post it. It's an email list that I'm collecting for right now. And if you give me your email, you will get an, a, to be put on the wait list for the launch and you'll get a 10% off discount uh, for subscribing. So I have been going every single day, Monday through Friday, since March 16th. This is our 15th week. Can you believe it? So I, it's really, I've been really, really busy and I need to focus for a little bit on um, getting the subscription off. I'm not saying camp's over all summer. I'm just saying for right now, I'm going to take a little, at least one week off to get my stuff together. I may go back to it. Let's just see how the subscription goes. But let me tell you a little bit about the subscription. You could do a day pass, a month pass, or a year pass. And with the month and the year pass, I'm going to go live once a week with brand new stuff. The, the subscription has everything all recorded and organized all in one package. And I'm going to upload new videos also. You know, that's what I got to start working on. So um, my goal is to hit 100 videos on there. Again, plus the live interactive stuff. So, uh Yes, this is the 15th week. Can you guys believe it? So Richie's got a lot to do. Joe's got a lot to do. Uh, and Rachel just has a minute or two to help us out today. So she'll be here. Uh, but let's start with the sloppy copy. So if you guys look at the shape, what letter do you see? Do you see a letter? I heard you say C. Yes. So if you look at the peacock's body, a, a letter I would think of, it looks like a bubble letter C to me. So let's start with the letter C. This is my sloppy copy. This is my practice. Okay. So there's my C. And now I'm going to turn it into a bubble C. So I'm going to come up and over and around and back. And there's my bubble letter C. I want to make sure nobody else is trying to get in. Okay, so there's my bubble letter C. I can give my little peacock a uh, an eyeball so we can see and a beak. And then this is this is just where the swirl of the white is. Almost like another letter C. And again, you don't even have to do it. It's just a practice. And then his little tail is like loop do loop do loop do loop do loop do loop. Almost like a flower. Kind of like flower petals. And then a good shape to fill in the feathers are like a eye or a football shape, but kind of elongated. So I'll show you. So if I do this and back, this and back, this and back. Right? That's cool. And again, you can put more and more designs and more and more feathers, but that gives you the general layout of your peacock. Just a sloppy copy, just to practice, okay? And then let me scoot over a little bit here, of course. Now you guys know that I use canvas Sharpie marker so you could see it on the screen, and I use acrylic paint. So Acrylic paint is fabulous paint to layer. If you're using watercolor paint or temper paint, it doesn't layer as well as acrylic. And what I mean by layer is when I do the background, I'm going to paint the entire canvas a background color that's very light. But if you're using watercolor or tempera, it's not as easy to layer or paint on top of. Where opaque paint is very opaque. I mean, Acrylic paint is very opaque. It means you can't see through it. Not a lot, at least. So again, I'm going to start with a drawing. Oh, let me show you guys a few things. I got so many presents this weekend. I wish I could sync my mouth. Does my, am I talking funny? Does it look like I'm out of sync? Anyway, 
Okay, so first of all, I want to thank Emma and Bella. Emma and Bella sent me drawings and some presents, and I want to show you. This is a drawing of me. Does it look like me? So that is from the girls in the Florida Keys. I thought that was awesome. Another drawing. Love that. And then, love that, huh? How about that? And on the back it says, hi, Denise. Thank you for the aprons and picture frames. We hope you like the little gifts we got you as much as we like yours. Hope to see you here in Key West one day and hug you. Love, Bella and Emma. That, that was awesome. So I'm going to show you what they got me. Uh-oh. You know what? I can show you the one thing because I put the keychain on my keys. So I got this cool Florida magnet. And then they got me a Key West keychain. But I put it on my keys and I don't have it down here. Then I also got, this is like the, the weekend, the Christmas weekend. It felt like Christmas, but it wasn't Christmas. So this is from Benjamin. Thank you, Benjamin. Benjamin made me this and he gave me a card and it says, thank you for doing the live free virtual art classes. Also, thank you for the apron. If you are wondering what the bead things are, that's from my business, Coaster for Kids. Okay. Benjamin's little card. We can have Benjamin tell us about his small business later. And then he made me this. These are perler beads. How awesome is that? Can you even believe that? So amazing, right? And this is from his family. Dear Denise, thank you for all the love and support you gave to all of us parents and children during these hard times. Benjamin decided to create a small business during the stay in place for family and close friends. He named it Coaster for Kids using perler beads. He made you a rainbow heart that can be converted into a magnet by using the enclosed magnetic tape and a large coaster for a big drink. Thanks again for the hours of painting and miles of smiles. Dan, Roxanne, and Benjamin. Thank you guys. So again, it means the world to me. Love it. Thank you. All right, now I'm going to do my canvas, okay? So I'm using black Sharpie. Let's start with the letter C. C. See a peacock. Okay. And then let's go up and curve over and back around. And we'll do the peacock's head and stop. No particular order. We could do the peacock's eyeball. We could put that white swirl in there. We could do the flowery hump, de hump, de hump, de hump, de hump, de hump, de hump, right? And then again, you could you could draw the legs in just so you know where they're gonna be. You could do the beak, and then those feathers again. Oh, I put I have them here somewhere. What did I do with them? Oh, guess what I got? Guess what I got? <gasps> Look at that. I got real peacock feathers. So look at those incredibly beautiful colors. Pretty amazing, right? So you know what? I could always glue them on and make it part of my artwork. But first I'm going to paint it. Not everybody has peacock feathers. Let's see. Where can we put it? Can we put it right there? Will it stay? I don't know. Let's try it like this. All right, you guys. I could have been a little more organized and arranged it better. Let's see. Let's go back to where we were. Peacock feather. We could do those little prongy things coming out of the head. Line up and back. And you can fill it up with as many feathers as you want. Okay. So just fill that space up. You can do it different than me. You could do it the same as me. You can make your feathers go off the edge of the canvas or the paper. You can use any supplies you want. You can be using crayons, colored pencils, oil pastels. 
I just want to give you a general idea of the layout. And again, fill it up with as much as you want. Okay. All right. So again, if you're using tempera or watercolor paint, I wouldn't cover over the whole thing because it's hard to cover up especially those two. But if you're using acrylic, you can. So what I would say is you can paint or color with crayons or colored pencils around everything. But for me, it's a lot easier just to paint right through it. Now, and I would definitely do it lighter so that it, it will make the peacock stand out. Hold on, I have to, someone trying to get into the group. Mm. Give me one second, you guys. I wish there was an easier way to get you guys in the, these private groups. Okay, so I'm gonna do my background. And again, I'm just gonna go right through it. I'm gonna do it a little different. I'm gonna use a little bit of yellow. You could do orange, you could do pale green. Just make it a softer color. So make it as light as you want. But again, if you're using crayons, don't color through everything. Just color around it. Same thing with oil pastels or pencils. Just make the background softer. I'm just trying to see if everybody's in here, you guys. I have these people messaging me. Hold on, let me go over here. Do, 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 do. So if you guys are new, this happens on Mondays, when people are new to the group, so I'm just painting the background a softer color, but again, you could do it purple, you could do it orange, you can make your background any color you want to. I would just make it a pastel or a softer color. So you would just take any color you want, it could be pink, and add white to it. As long, so we're going for contrast, so it shows up. So I still did green here, but I made it really pale green. You know, if you're going to use blue, we're definitely going to use blue in our peacock. So definitely make it a lighter blue background. Just think a soft color. And again, if you're using tempera or watercolor, don't just paint around everything. Don't paint through it unless it's really, really light because opaque paint will cover anything. But uh, watercolor and tempera, not as much. And tempera does not work great on canvas either. So if you're using tempera, do it on paper or cardboard or something like that. So if you guys are new, this will be recorded and it'll be stored in this private face group, Facebook group. And yes, every time you guys, we do a Facebook group that's a, a subscription, it's got to be a new group. So each week it's a new uh, request to get in. You, don't, you can't go back to the old group because that one's over. 
I mean, you can go back to the old group if you were there, but you know, it won't be, it'll just be the stuff from last week. So I have 16 people requesting the email. So I definitely want you guys, if you haven't done it already, I'll put the link in this group. It's an email blast that's going out uh, to launch the new subscription site. So I am not doing camp next week. I'm not saying I'm not going to do it. Uh, thank you. I don't know. Um, you guys can copy that. That's kind of a long subscription link. Uh, and I don't think Rachel could paste it in there, but um, I'll put it up also later and it'll give you a discount if you join. So there's a daily pass. You don't get a discount on the daily. That's only $15 for the day. You get a monthly or a yearly pass. If you do this, if you sign up for the email, you'll get a email that'll give you a 10% off code for the monthly or the yearly. And if you do auto renewal, it will, it'll lock you into that price and it'll lock you into the discount. That makes sense. And again, so what it's going to have, is going to have a lot of videos on it, all the recordings we've done, plus new stuff. Plus I'm going to go live once a week. And I think right now, my plan is to go live July 8th. So that would be a week from Wednesday. That would be our first. And I think just for the summer, I'll continue the noon time because that works. So Wednesday, July 8th will be the first live for the subscription. And then again, next week, you guys, we're not going to do camp. Let's just see how the subscription goes because I have a lot of stuff to do. I'm going to be making a lot of videos that are recorded without the interaction part so I can have some new stuff on the site as well. So we'll have some new stuff. We'll have new live videos. It'll be really fun. I'm super excited to have you guys be a part of it. So again, make sure you sign up for the email. I'll put it up later. So your background color can be any color you want to. And then you guys can do your feathers. So I'm going to show you, I have more feathers. You guys, I have so many peacock feathers. So Look at, look at the colors on this, right? Look at those spectacular iridescent colors. So really you can use any colors you want to, but definitely green, yellow, green, blue, green, turquoise, blue. And then the center part's almost like a aquamarine blue, purpley blue. So you guys use what you want, but I'm gonna start with the peacock's body and I'm gonna use the blue. Now I am going to paint around that white, this, the C here, I'm going to leave white. So I'm just going to paint around it and then the rest of it, we can leave the little, like the black line I'm going to paint over, but we know that inside of his eye, I can leave that too for now and then add white to it later. Take your time. Now, if you did really thick yellow and you paint the blue and it's really wet, you're going to end up with a different color. What color peacock are you going to get? I heard you say green. Yeah, you're going to have a green peacock. So, you know, I did my yellow very thin and very light. So my peacock is blue. So tell me someone else is trying to get in here. And your blue doesn't have to be like my blue. You can have a different blue. You could have a lighter blue. You could have a darker blue.
So again, the, the head and the body is like a letter C in a bubble C for version. That's how we started. We did the letter C and then the tail is kind of like petals on a flower. This part around the edge or half circles. Take your time. So like here I have, a, it's kind of a jaggedy line. So I could just go over it again. Ooh. All right, keep going. Hope you guys had a good weekend. Paint it in. All right. And I'll do my background lines and feathery, like little loose lines later. Now I want to use a green for my feathers. And I'm going to do the circles later. So again, I'm going to fill the whole leaf in green because it's easier. But if you're using anything other than acrylic, paint, draw your circles in and paint around them or color around them. You don't want to paint the whole thing in green and then your watercolor paint won't show up white on top of green. But I'm using acrylic so it will. So I'm going to do my feathers green. Peacock feathers are so beautiful. And again, you can have more or less peacock feathers. You don't have to have the same amount that I have. I just like filling up the canvas. Or the page. See, this one's going to go right off the edge. Oh my So this is like an almond shape or a shape of a football, kind of stretched out. So it's like an arched line, the shape of, yeah, like an eye stretched out. Getting there, right? And the same thing, your green does not have to look like my green. You can have a totally different color scheme.
And again, I'll put my lines in back, like the feathery lines in the background later. So this little puff here is white and his beak is white, but you don't have to make yours like that. So this is like the little puff of white. You can make it overlap into the green if you want to. Makes it look a little bit more dimensional if you do that. Then this triangle is white. Right there. So there's not a lot of contrast there. So the white against the yellow doesn't show up that well. So I'm going to outline it and it'll show up better. So again, I'll outline it later with a dark color so it shows up. His little tail is white. These little tail half circles here. So be careful of your blue. If you bump into the blue, I'm going to leave a little gap in between my white and my blue because I'm going to outline it with black and then that way I won't get any blue in it. If I did get blue in it, it would look cool. It was just meant to be. And again, it's hard to see the white against the yellow background, but when I outline it, it'll pop out. So I'm going to put like a little dot of, I'll do that later, the little dot of white. The C in his face, that's like the white swirl. You could do that now, or you can wait till your blue dries. Now I know you guys really want me to outline it because it looks so cool when you outline it, but Again, I don't want to use the black just yet. So then you want to do your little white circles. If your uh, green is dry enough, I'm just going to see mine's pretty wet. So it's not going to let me do it. So I'm going to be patient. I'm going to jump to something else. So how about if we put those cool lines in the background, like the feathery lines. So I'll just go back to my blue and let me move this so I don't get, I don't want to get paint on my feather. So I'm going to put some blue around here. Blue over here. Again, there's no right or wrong. I'm just putting like some wispy lines in here in between the feathers. Could put some over here. Wherever you want, just squeeze some lines in there. Put one over here, down here, over here, and here. You can put them over here. Wherever you want. Again, there's no right or wrong. Could put one. I got one over there. And then do some green ones. You could do some white ones. Green line, green line, wispy, 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 wispy line. Green line. Again. Wherever you want to add the lines, that's cool. And don't forget about some white lines. And again, the white lines probably won't show up as great because of the light background, but you could still add them. Oh, 
put a smudge of blue on there, but see, it looks cool. I'll show you up close. So I accidentally got some blue on my white brush. So you can see the mistake. You see that smooth, that smear of blue in my white? I did not mean to do that, but it looks good. I'm fine with it. I'm going to leave it. And look at that. Cool colors, right? So if you want to put like a purpley blue in there, you of course you can. And I'm going to, I'm going to let my green dry a little bit and I could start outlining, okay, in black. But if you want, you can wait for it to dry and use a black Sharpie. Don't use a black Sharpie on wet paint because it ruins the marker. I'm going to do my eye. See how much it stands out more. And then I'm going to outline my beak. I'm going to outline my feathers. So I just have to be careful later when I go back into it that I don't bump into my black. I'm going to put those little lines on right there. And again, you can outline all of your feathers, some of your feathers. You don't have to outline them at all. But it'll definitely make them stand out. The legs. You can make your legs go all the way to the bottom. You can put grass in. You can put a, you know, ground, brown, ground. You can outline in between the blue and the white if you want to. I'm not going to, but you could. I'm going to outline this on the, so this one is not outlined, but I'm going to outline it on here. You guys decide which way you like it better. You can outline it or not outline it. Again, you can see the difference and then you decide. I'm going to outline this, this one, because this one's not really outlined that much, partially. And again, you see if you look at outlined or not outlined. I'm outlining it with black. Go slow. So I could always tell how humid it is by how long it takes for my paint to dry. So if it's really 
um, humid and there's a lot of moisture in the air, it takes longer for my paint to dry than if it's, let's say if it's winter time and I have the heat running, it dries up all the moisture. If I'm outside and it's a hot summer day and there's not a lot of humidity, my paint dries really quick. Today it's pretty humid and my paint's not drying quick. So I'm going to go back and try one more time that those little white spots. Let's see what happens. That's my white paint I'm trying to bang out of my bottle. I'll show you my white bottle in a second. So you guys, that white paint is what we go through the most when painting. So if you keep running out of white paint, this is, I get it, Mike. Oh, I just dropped it in the green. Okay, look, I just dropped it in the green paint. Yeah, I'm messy, but I love this stuff at Michael's. It's like $10 a bottle. It's a quart. It's acrylic. I love it. So I use it a lot. I go through a lot of it. And um, you can get it online. Or if you live by Michael's. Not the best circle I've ever made. Now there's really actually not even white in here. So that's why you guys can totally do your own thing. You can use purple, you can make it realistic, you can make it cartoony. Right? Because we think outside the box and we're creative and we do what we like to do. Because yours is gonna look like yours and mine is gonna look like mine. And that's what makes it so fun and so cool. Circle, Circle, kind of. You can make it go off the edge. Just got a big blob of white on my canvas, but no one knows I didn't mean to do that. Don't tell anyone. Circle, circle. Okay. Did I get them all? And again, you can put more feathers in there wherever you want. Fill it up, make it interesting. And then inside of the, the white dot, I put blue. So I just put a little white blue circle inside of the white. Oh, I forgot that one. So I got to go do that one. So I'll go back and put a white circle. Where'd it go? Here, this one. White circle. And then a blue circle. And with the blue circle, all I'm doing is using the tip of the bristle. Tip of the bristle and just pressing down like that. And again, you can add more. 
lines wherever you want to. Expressive little lines. Cute, and then you gotta name your peacock for sure. So Priscilla, Priscilla. We have Priscilla and Patrick. You like that? Priscilla and Patrick, how about those? Mm, I like those peacock names. Okay, I hope you guys still have the StreamYard link. I'm gonna try to click over and put it back up there. This is where you click on the link. I'm gonna see if I can get in there. So see that StreamYard link? If you click on that link, you guys click on that link, it'll bring you into the green room, which is behind the scenes. And then Rachel's here to bring you up on the screen and you can show us what you've made so far. So click it if you want to. Again, that's up to you. You do not have to come on the screen and share, but, um, if you want to, feel free. I hope I got it. Can you guys do it? Is it active? I don't see anyone coming up yet, so I hope it works. Oh, there's Lola. All right. Rachel, whenever you're ready, you can start bringing them up. Hey, Lola. Okay. So I kind of did it um, probably mm -hmm. rules, kind of, so my mom said it's going to be much harder. Oh, that looks great. And I just wanted to say that yesterday I got a kitchen. I was thinking, like, when, when you do, like, like when we do art again, we could do a little teapot. I love that. You got it. Goes like this. It goes like. Oh, that's awesome. It's very cute. Yes. So I would love to do a teapot. So that's a great idea. Thank you, Lola. Okay. Bye. Bye. Hey, Holly Ann. Oh, look at that purple. Um, this is Penelope. This is Penelope the peacock. I love Penelope the peacock. She's so cute. I love those colors. That looks awesome, Holly Ann. Thank you. Hey, Anna. Oh, that looks great. Thanks. I love it. Thank you. Bye. Hey, Brooklyn. Oh, hi. <laughs> um, this is my artwork I did. I'm not so far, but I'm not finished. Take your time. Take your time. It looks great. Thank you. Thank you so much for doing this. You're welcome. Bye. Hey, Amelia. Hi. This is what I made today. This is looks great. Really nice, Amelia. Thank you. Hi. Hey, Reagan. Oh, that looks great. And did you tape the border? Or you taped the board? That's just this. Oh, got it. Okay. It I like, like got stuck down to the cardboard from doing my collage last week. Oh, yeah, yeah. I like your colors. Thank you. That's great. Okay. Like hey, Rihanna. It's my stuffed animal. Oh, yeah, yeah. I like I your love colors. Hot. And Thank you. It's great. This is my painting. Very nice, Leona. That looks very thick. It is. You're going to have a lot of texture. That's going to take a long time to dry. Bye. Don't, don't think. Hello. This is mine so far. Not that done. Right. Yeah. Oh, it looks great. Thank you. That's going to take a long time. Hi. This is mine. Pretty. I like it. Thank you. Thanks for doing it with us. Bye. Bye. Hi, Abby and Claire. 
Nice. Nice color pencil. This oh, I love it. Yeah, I love the color pencil. And the, is that acrylic? Uh, that looks really nice. It looks really good. Uh, Thanks for joining us. Hey, Mallory. Hi. Nice colors. I like it. We got new white. Yay for new white. Is that Hobby Lobby? Did I see that from Hobby Lobby? <laughs> yeah, we got um, it from Hobby Lobby. And I also got my haircut. It looks really cute. Thank you. Nothing like a haircut for the summer. Thanks, Mallory. Thank you. From Hobby Lobby. Hi. Hi. This is mine Hobby so Lobby. far. And I also got my haircut. It looks really can cute. You, can you tell us because you're new, right? Can you tell us your name, Mallory? Um, um, how old you are? Uh, I'm Hobby nine. Lobby. Hi. You're nine. This is mine so far. And I also got my haircut. It looks really good. Um, how old you are? Benjamin, hi, Abby. Thank you. Hi. Here's my peacock. Hey, Eileen. Uh, like oh, cute. Uh, um... I tried um, a couple of times. Here was the one before. That one looks good too. Like the feathers went over all the feathers, but I think this is my favorite peacock. Yeah, that's really cute. Yeah, I kind of tilted it a little. Uh huh. I like and it. Mom, and my mom has a cord, and she's hooking the thing up to the TV. Oh, that's awesome. Mm hmm. That'll be big. Uh, yeah, you're it's really big. <laughs> Thank you. Bye. Bye, Hi. Hey, Alma. So, this is my pizza. Oh, that looks great. I love it. We have gold. We use gold paint. Ooh, yeah, love, instead of white. I love gold. Thank you. I like your outer space shirt and your bunny. That looks great. I can even put my skirts on it because of this, my hair bands. And are you going to name your peacock? Uh, I didn't put a name. I can't really name stuff. Oh, you can think of it. You have time to think about it. It's fun to think of fun names. What's your bunny's name? Stinky Bunny. Because she has an itchy arm, it's about to fall off. <laughs> she just needs a Band-Aid. Well... Uh, I take it off. It has hair in on it. Got it. I oh. take it off. Yeah? I try not to scratch it, but it's, it's no use. I understand. All right. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye. Hey, right? Hi, Emma. Hi. Hi. So I'm going to show you a picture that I drew like a few days ago, and I keep on forgetting to, you know, bring it up. But I drew a hand. Wow, that's amazing. Yay, thank you. A Michelangelo hand. Oh, you guys got peacock feathers. Yep. And look at all your peacock colors. You guys have every shade there. Yep. And thank oh, you for your amazing drawings. And, our, and I love it. Yes, we are. And thank you for sending us the aprons. You're welcome. You're welcome. But on the island, that's a like a few minutes away from us, there are actual peacocks who just wander around and when they like yell, they make a sound that sounds like a cat. Really? Only male, only male peacocks have the bright colored, bright colors and the fe feathers, like the big bushy feathers. And the girl peacocks have more like muted, dark, like gray colors. And huh. the male ones have the bright colors to attract the females. So the feathers we have, these are males? These feathers yes. are from males? Yes. I did not know that. And are peacocks nice? Like if you went to that island, would they be nice? Oh, that looks great. They, they don't really bother anyone. They just walk around and make crazy sounds like, yeah. like cats. <laughs> 
Nice. You can fix it. You can fix it. It's all right. Yeah. She's this still working on it. Yeah. You guys, they look awesome. Taking her time. There's the smudge. It's okay. I have yeah. a ton of them. We'll fix it. Just be patient. Very easily yep. could be fixed. Yeah. You're lucky I'm not paying extra. I would have flung people into her for 10 times. Mm -hmm. oh. <laughs> yeah. All right, you girls. I'll see you tomorrow. All right, so here's something else I forgot to say today. Shocking, right? So if you're new, I love when you come on the camera and say your name, where you're from, how old you are. Don't give me your address, but you could say, like, I live in, you know, Cleveland, Ohio, or in the vicinity of. But when you come on the camera, if you can lower your volume on Facebook, then it won't be so echoey. And you guys are all delayed. So that means that um, there's a slight delay. So I'm ahead of you. So as I'm talking, if your volume's up really loud, you're going to hear it like, you know, a few seconds before. Plus then you're trying to talk and we can't really hear you. So it happened to all of us. Do not feel bad and don't, you know get scared and never come on again. It's just a learning experience. It's happened to all of us. So when you come on tomorrow, just turn your volume down on Facebook, but don't mute it because then we can't hear what you're saying. And uh, tomorrow we're going to do the chameleon. I was going to do Tropical Tuesday, the chameleon. So uh, I'll post that later. And again, if you guys upload pictures, do it in the comments. Like take a picture you can check in at artist at heart paint party you can message me you can text me you can put your photos um on the in the comments how do you share live there is a stream yard link see where it says artist at heart paint party in the comments stream yard link you click on that link okay so if you want to come on the camera click on the stream yard link where that little duck is it's a stream yard with a little mallard duck all right jenny you can bring on jenny hey jenny Hi. Okay, so I'm not done painting yet, but oh, that looks nice. Is that watercolor? Yeah. I like it. Are you guys? Yeah, look at all the my mom is still doing her as well. Take your time. Very nice. Yeah, we have to wait a while because it's watercolor. It's really pretty. Yeah, so take your time. And then if it dries and it's got like a ripple, like if it's warped, just when it's dry, put it inside of a heavy book and then it'll flatten it out. Okay. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. I did this on my own and this on my own. I love from it. A different art camp. It was for free this week, but now it's not free. Hello. Got it. Those are really cute. They look like they remind me of book illustrations. Oh yeah, they kind of do. You should write because, a book. Uh, I did that. Uh, it's it looks like that because it was from a book artist that does watercolor oh. and she doesn't do like she, she doesn't draw any lines now because she's so into it she doesn't even have to draw lines she just paints it and then it just goes her way that's awesome well they look awesome thank you bye they kind of do oh, hi 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 uh, this is my peacock Hey, can you guys do me a favor and lower your volume on Facebook? She doesn't even have to go on. She just paints it and it goes away. That's awesome. That's awesome. Thank you. Bye. Abby, Ethan, and Hannah. Oh, look at those. 
Uh, we show you. Right now? Oh, this um, is my peacock. This is mine. This is mine. She can't see. She can't see you, Abby. These are our peacock. So you guys hear that echoey sound? That is from Facebook. Lower your volume. Are we on right now? We'll, we'll be able to hear you better. Are we on? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. This, this better. Is there you go. Now you got it. Yeah. Yeah. This is mine. The pink one. That looks great, you guys. You guys are doing great. How old are you? How old are you? How old are you? I'm 10 years old. No, I'm five. I'm eight. Wow. So you guys range from live in Texas. Texas. Yeah. Texas. Well, thanks for doing the peacock with us. I'll see you guys tomorrow, okay? Okay, say bye. 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 Uh, Hi, um, Abby. This is a peacock that I did last year. My friend had a birthday wow. party. That's cool. Yeah, it looks really nice. Did you, you is that all painted? Or is it a collage? Mm -hmm. It's all painted? It's painted, yeah. It's really good, nice. I like the colors too. Thank you for sharing that. Hi, Chorus Asian Natasha. How are you girls? This is mine. I love my it. Mom told me, um, peacocks live in the rainforest, so I put it raining like a tree. <laughs> I love that. This is mine, and I made a peacock on the beach with a nest with an, and an egg in it, and I made a sunset. I love and the rainbow sunset. tail feathers. That very creative. Right, did you use oil pastel or crayon? I used crayon, colored pencils, and markers. That's amazing. I love it. I love so that's called multimedia. Will you use all different kinds of supplies like that? No. Very cool. I'm still showing it. Then go ahead. So, Let's see. Cora doesn't want to show her. Okay. How about tomorrow? I have no idea. Well, well you guys show me tomorrow, okay? Doesn't. Oh, so um, when we're done with this art, are we going to do Facebook or YouTube? Like, so when we are done with this camp, when we do the subscription, you mean it's gonna it's gonna be a private Facebook group. So Facebook, yeah. Still? yeah. Okay. So the way it's gonna work, and it's gonna be an experiment. But so everything recorded will be recorded on the website. So everything's gonna be on the website that's already recorded together. There'll be like cats, dogs, creatures, right? And then when we go live, we're gonna go live on Facebook. Maybe I'll. I don't know. I haven't figured it out yet. I just wanted you to look that I'm done with this, and I did artisan heart paint. Oh, there's my shop. I love it. Yeah. Send me a picture of that. That's so cute. Do yes, you do you want it to be on Facebook, or do you want it to be on YouTube? Well, I was thinking Facebook because because it's much easier, and because sometimes in YouTube we can't find it. Okay. So, um, yeah, I, my plan was to do just like we're doing now, but there would only be one group. It wouldn't be like a new group every single week. It would just be one group, and that would be the subscription group. And every week when I go live, you would just go to that Artist at Heart subscription group to see the live video. Okay. So my plan is to do it right now. It's going to be uh, July 8th. And, again, if you join, you'll get all the information. So that's my plan. Okay. So make sure you get the email. If your mom, I think your mom did put her name on the email, right? Um, I don't think so. I'll put the email link. It when we when we're done here, I'll put it up in the comments again or up mm -hmm. on the page. Okay. Thank you. Bye. I'll see you tomorrow. Hi. Hi, I'm Anuj. These are my favorites.
These are my favorite paintings. Thank you. My my mother and I laminated them. Nice. Oh, that's a lot of scoops. Wow. Huh? Those are amazing. That, thank you for doing this. You're welcome. Thanks for joining me. I love. It. Did you use um? What kind of paint did you use? Um, I used, I used my, I used my liquid paints and watercolors. They look really nice. I like that she laminated those. That's that means they're gonna last forever. Thanks. Thank you. I'll see you tomorrow. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. That was cute. Okay, so those, if you guys are new, those were the paintings from the past when we were doing March, April, May, right? And then I started camp through June. And again, we're going to wrap up this week with camp. I'm not saying I'm never going to do camp again. I just need to get my stuff together for the subscription. I'll post the link for the email blast, which should be coming out today, tomorrow, ASAP. Thanks, you guys, so much. Thank you for turning down the volume. You couldn't hear me. So this is this is what people have been telling me. There, there's a volume on Facebook that you have to turn it down, okay? You should still be able to hear me through the, your computer, but the Facebook volume you can turn down, and then that way you won't have that glitchy, echoey sound. And you guys, this happens a lot when we're new for the week and we have new people, so do not feel bad. But the rest of these guys have been around the whole time. They haven't left. So you guys have been with me for 15 weeks. Again, it makes me sad to take a little break from seeing you guys almost every day, but um, I got a million things to do. So I will see you guys again tomorrow. Same time, same place. Great job. Thank you so much. Ciao.